Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my badminton vlog. Mixed emotions about this one, not gonna lie, but let's start with a positive. One being that I am vlogging because I've been umming and ahhing and because it's not going to be the badminton that we expected it to be this year, I did contemplate not vlogging. However, I have vlogged badminton for many a year without riding there so it would seem odd not to and just because it's different to what we envisaged it to be this year struggling with my words there doesn't mean it's not still going to be fun plus i'm feeling much happier smilier bubblier now because a couple of hours ago my farrier came plugged his lordship's abscess hole and refitted the shoe and he trotted up sound so yes we are starting this vlog with good news even though as i said it's not the badminton vlog that i anticipated it would be in 2023 there we go there's a little poem for you that did rhyme didn't it be in 2023 yes it did so as i said been umming and ahhing about vlogging umming and ahhing really about even going i said to em i'm not deciding until yesterday whether to go or not and we have decided, as the weather is glorious, we will go up for the grassroots element and support Meggie Moo and Dee Dee and Jam Bam. There's been lots of other horsies featuring on the vlog instead of you over the last couple of weeks, haven't there? Yeah. You're gonna come back and steal the show soon? Yeah. Show everybody what you're capable of again. Honestly, right now wouldn't bother me if we just ended up being hackers, would it? I just wanna get back behind your ears and have you feeling Back to yourself. Hmm. Right, let's get your fly mask. It honestly wouldn't bother me though, mate, if you ended up just being a happy hacker, as long as you're safe and sound. Right, I'm going to get both of their fly masks popped on and then get on the road to pick up Emily and Nala. Sam Sam is also coming for his first badminton experience, which will be super fun. I did not want to leave him at home because Winston is still sadly in hospital and obviously Robbie's working so he would have been very anxious being at home on his own for long periods of time without his mum so he is in Sam's van ready to rock and roll aren't you yes you are going to get Emma and Nala but first of all as I said fly mask we've arrived not gonna lie almost almost I remember driving in here with Spritey in the back don't you oh that's sick Ago. I was 17. I'm being chauffeur driven, lucky me. <laughs> in your car. I'm not gonna lie, the last five minutes or so I've just been a bit <laughs> for more reasons than just yeah. fancy not being here, but yeah. Stuff it's that's... gonna be mixed emotions. For yeah. You. Meg didn't realise we were coming up tonight though, and she's just been like, Eek, oh my god, so excited, so that's nice. She didn't know. I did I thought I said I dress but obviously early, I otherwise it would have been an early stop for us to get here. Exactly there. that, yeah. Oh, I've done that thing where I've put my phone the wrong way. I'm vlogging on my you phone again. I haven't picked up my camera. School. Yeah, old school phone vlogging. I have got my camera with me, but sometimes when you're feeling a bit emotional and anxious, it's much more comfort zone to use your phone, don't you find? Do you ever do that? Sometimes. Oh, I do. But I'm looking the wrong way because I got it the wrong way. Wait, 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 just one sec. That's better. I know where the lens is now. So yeah, we're following a competitor in, aren't we? No, I'm... We're, we're assuming because they're coming in the grassroots entrance yeah. um those of you that haven't been before maybe don't know that there's different entrance for the five stars of the grassroots and when you're driving towards the grassroots entrance it feels like are you sure we haven't gone past it uh, doesn't it um but then as you come in we will be going because it's running clockwise we'll be going past the start of the cross country as we come in won't we not yeah. the end yeah it would have been the end last year yeah and the start this year mm -hmm plan of action obviously is just to get sorted and yes sorted with the animals and the mess that we've got back there sam sam and nala we did just um, tip up a bag so our shopping could go in it pretend yeah we did steal the bag <laughs> for shopping um potentially sit down have a little glass of wine and <laughs> maybe maybe have a little <laughs> look at the course tonight yeah. if it's light enough what is it? Quarter past quarter seven. seven. Plenty of time We've done really for it to well. be light enough. We have done well for time. We didn't think we were going to be here till like eight. No? So, we? Done very, very good. And yeah, obviously go see Meggie Moo, 
Han, Pete, Hobbs. Although Hobbs isn't there, she's gone. She's got an Airbnb, so she isn't um, there at the moment. Remember when we ran out here that time? <laughs> There's so many badminton memories oh, wow, so that it would feel wrong to not to vlog. I was umming up and daring. I was contemplating not and thinking, oh, we'll just go and enjoy ourselves. Although obviously we still enjoy ourselves whilst vlogging. But it just feels, I don't know. You can't not. You can't go I to still badminton and not really, vlog. I know, but I still feel really strange that we're not staying for the main thing. I know. I don't think I've said that. Yeah, we're literally. Uh, well, we only decided. We only really decided for sure yesterday that definitely go because it's yeah. nice weather. We'll go for it. Yeah. But yeah, we are going home again to watch the cross country on the TV because we've got something else super exciting on Monday. <laughs> and because it's it's been, next week. <laughs> yeah, which is it's oh. actually everything happens for a reason, and I think it would have been a lot, wouldn't it? Well, there's a reason that there's a reason that there's definitely. next week was next week because of you. Oh and Meg. yeah, that's very true. Yeah, because of you. You were in my thoughts. You, I was in her thoughts when she planned her away Hindu. Yes. Uh, we'll be over there when this goes live, so it's fine. We'll already be sharing where we are. Right, I'm about to show you where the start is going to leave from. But yeah, now I am getting vibes of oh, we're not going to be here for the five star. I know. A little bit. We've I done know. it every year for many a year now, haven't we? Yeah. I stayed for the duration. Wow. We don't always stay for show jumping day. No. But we did the year we piggy when one. It mattered. We did when it mattered. Right, let's see if we can see fence numero uno on the grassroots course. How good a timing was that? Literally, start box there. Boom. Oh, I've got such mixed emotions. <sighs> Only two warm up fences. Huh? What did you say about the warm up? Thursday, so you don't know what they might yeah, change. Yeah, they might add stuff. something else in yeah. there by then. Um, so yes, main prestigious turf, and then over to the grassroots turf over here, and the tree-lined entrance that we would have been taking Banksy down through, which sadly we are not. Oh, we've camped in there before as well, haven't we, Em? In the traders. We've arrived there pretty late, a couple of nights. <laughs> Oh, and then everybody over there with all their horse lorries. All getting prepped and excited. Oh, and the airfield, right by an airfield too, isn't it? Yeah. For all the people that can afford to land by aeroplane, arrive by aeroplane. Oh. Not our first rodeo. Grubby windscreen. Oh. <laughs> you need the squirty stuff. Are you having fun? <laughs> Are you at badminton? See, Banksy can't be at badminton, sadly, but Sam Sam can. Come here, come here, come here. Sit, sit, good boy, stay. Just taking a little mooch around with Sam Sam as the sun sets. Not gonna lie, did have half a tear. As we drove in and I saw somebody unloading their horse off of their lorry, I was like, Em mm. looked at me, she went, I don't know how you do it, I couldn't have come. And I was like, no, I think... Sam? Sam, Sam? Yeah. I wouldn't want to be at home missing out on it all. I want to be here to support Meg. And I want to see it all and maybe, hopefully, potentially get the fire in my belly to want to try and aim for it next year. Who knows? I think if Banks was still out of sorts, it would have been so much easier to not come and to stay at home and just be there for him. Obviously, that's what I'd have wanted to do. But with getting the all clear from the farrier this morning, it's lifted a huge weight and yeah, hopefully he will. Oh, I'm gonna have to go and do mummy duties. Um, yeah, hopefully he will be back in action very, very soon. And hopefully being here motivates me to still want to do it and to get out eventing soon. Fingers crossed. Right, let's find this poo. Sam, <laughs> priorities, cheers. Safety first, where's your hard hats? Sam, Sam. <laughs> Is he beating the TV? Here's my steed for the next two days. I feel like you might need a hat on. My grey pony. Aww. Aww. Right, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not being funny, but she has. Is that... She's a daredevil when it comes to being on a bike. She actually is. I'm not actually watching, sorry, I'm watching her. <laughs> it's a lovely extended canter. Give her retake the reins, mate. She will go, don't. <laughs> 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 Sam, 
Yeah, really good. Don't you see all our stories about just going along on our bike? Yeah. On the right. Push it. There's one up. There's the one on top down. The one. Oh, there. That's down, and the one by your farm lower down is up. Nala, don't chase. When you start hey, run me over! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen. With We've Emily. got um, Master Chef Emily Dunstan, soon to be Dobson, and then we've got KP Samuel the Spaniel, <laughs> or Sous Chef, is it? Nala. Uh, oh yeah, no, Nala's kitchen oh, no, porter. I'm, Sam's Sous Chef. Actually, I've got something that would fit with their paws very well. <laughs> oh, are you going to greet the cheese, Sam? Sam, are you going to greet the Mexicana? Aww. Is it bedtime, puppy dogs? One each, was on half it. One each. We're only here two yeah. nights. There's five in a pack, is there not? Oh, they're the minty ones. No, oh, I can spin left and right. Nicely. Nicely. <laughs> oh yeah, but he has to go and take it and put it in his paws. He won't eat it straight away. It's so funny, aren't you? Look, he has to hold it. Nala holds it one paw, she's like, I've got this down. Nala's like, this is gone. <laughs> he has to hold it in both paws, don't you, pup? No. Nice. And then did Tina spoil you? Is it yummy? Is it yeah, and you're both now also taking up the whole of our bed. Well done. Oh, I think you can put your legs down one Happy side. days. Happy I'll days. That's what I usually have to do between the cat and the dog. <laughs> oh. You go, you smell, but it's fine because your breath will be lovely. <laughs> Maggie, come and stand in the spotlight. Has anybody actually asked you what your predictions are for the next couple of days? No, I don't want to say because it'll be bad luck. Okay, have you written it down on paper anywhere? No. I think you should. I don't actually have any. I've got a ball by the way. I'll put it, you write it on your notes on your phone. Oh, no, but I still no, set yourself a goal. No, it's just you. It's only you that's ever got to see it. Do you not think it in your head? Do you not sort of stuff? No, I'm all about it. So you ask everybody else, but you don't actually think it yourself? Yeah. yeah. Too deep. <laughs> deep and meaningful. I'll think about it for you girls. Okay. You, you Report back. Leave it with me, right? I'll see you right in early tomorrow. Is there any Good girl, staying hydrated. I don't think so at the minute. If there is anything that you feel in the morning, feel free to knock on the door. Thank you. Say, so we'll, oh, my pony, it's we'll, rolled in food. Yeah. We'll just be smiley, happy, bubbly. Positive, positive. V. Oh, I'm looking forward to meeting Rich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rich the diva. I'm going to tell him D's my favourite too. Yeah, he's the nightmare. Alright, Nala says bedtime. No night, babies. Holiday baby. toes. It's warm in here. Holiday toes. Oh, I've not got holiday toes. I've got little goblin toes at the minute. Nala says I'm, I'm not invited. Last Hindu. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you been married? <laughs> <laughs> Sam says night night, we're tired. Sam's enjoyed the bed. No, we're tired. Pete's gone bed. Yeah, I know. Right, you're competing. Go bed. I love you. See you in the morning. Never did I ever think that this would be the first thing you do. Well, not the first thing, but one of the first things you do. Coffee. I've, I've washed up. My At badminton. Yeah. Oh, because you haven't got a horse to prep. You're going to prep yourself. Yeah. If you were platinum right now, what would come first? If you're flat in Banksy, eyes ready for Hendu straight wedding or? That might be in my schedule of my uh, wedding to be fair. Or well, eyes? This and platting. <laughs> and this comes first. Yeah, you can keep them on wash your platting. Exactly that. Exactly that. Well, they're just sliding down. <laughs> well, we had a lovely sleep in Sam's van, didn't we, Sam? Apart from you're very heavy on my legs, you didn't get off the bed. And you're a slight bit bigger than Nala, who did get off the bed, didn't you? And we've got. A room with a view basically because out the back doors is the dressage warm up and the dressage arenas. Needless to say, there's not actually any ponies in there at the moment because they don't start for a couple of hours. Maggie's looking very relaxed and chilled this morning. Oh, there is a pony here, look, doing a bit of warm up. It's nice, it's blinking, 
really? Yeah, the wind's cold. I'm glad I put this coat on. Do you mind taking the doggies a minute? Because what I'm going to do, like a good girl, is actually get my proper vlogging camera out and turn my phone on. Because oh. it's windy and phones are not good with wind. It will be noisy. You know what I said about handing it to the camera? It doesn't seem to want to work. It's almost telling me not to vlog this weekend. Not that it's the weekend. It's not working. New battery won't turn on. Here. Anyway. Right now I'm standing in the corner I see you from across the room It's kind of crowded here But I know you see me too Everybody's singing oh Everybody's singing oh Baby, let me love you. Follow the sign that says Cross Country. That was far more enthusiastic than I um, thought that would come out, actually. Yay! We're going to walk the course. Just me and you and our doggies, aren't we? Yeah. Been a little bit emotional this morning, not going to lie. Really proud of Meg. She did a brilliant first test on D. Her test on jam isn't until tomorrow. So got a relatively quiet spectating day today, haven't we? Yeah. Which is why, yeah, we're going to go and burn a bit of energy from these two. And yeah, give us see what the course would have been. Obviously, I've already seen it on the cross country app. And it's so different because when you are riding it, it always, 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 should we do triple word? Looks that little bit kinder than when you are riding it. It's funny how your brain plays mind games with you, isn't it? Have you looked at it on the app? I haven't. Oh, so you I'm haven't. Coming out fresh. Fresh eyes. So Meg has obviously already walked it last night. We didn't do that because we arrived quite late. Well, not quite late. Earlier than we thought, but yeah, she'd already walked. She was mid. She was about three quarters of the way around, wasn't she? Yeah. So we're heading out there now. Like I say, get some energy out the doggies, have a look at the course, and then we're also going to walk it later with Cam because he is doing an organised course walk through Voltaire at 4pm, which competitors and spectators are welcome to join on. So it'll be nice for everybody to get a little bit of input into how Cameron would ride it. Yeah. Um, and probably just different aspects that you wouldn't even think of. A hundred percent. Yeah, remember that time we walked it with you and Sprite and Sarah saying about always look back at where you've come from? And how much has that stuck with us ever since? Exactly. Always look at the route you've come from to check you're on the line that you would have ridden. Yeah, definitely. Definitely something that stayed. So yeah, we'll show you a bit of the course, but then get some input from Cam later this afternoon. Annoyingly, my camera... <laughs> it's still not playing ball. I thought it was working a minute ago and it stopped again. So we are back to old school vlogging on the phone, which actually with how I'm feeling emotions wise today, it's far easier and much more like, I don't know, it's like my little comfort blanket. It's like having your comfy slippers on going back to vlogging on the phone. Yeah, I do apologize that maybe the sound isn't quite so good. I wonder if I can link my mics up to this. I don't, can I? Yeah. Ooh, we might try with that later, ready for the course walk. You put it in the end and then you just wear your mics and the receiver goes in the bottom of your phone. Wow, revolutionary. Well, we might well be using that later if my camera's not playing ball. I just don't trust this at the moment, Ooh, don't know why. Right, let's head to that start box. Shut up, is that working now? It is working now. <laughs> I've formatted the card again and oh, that what? is working now, typical. Well, seeing as we're pointing at the ground, let's just talk about what? how fabulous the ground is yeah, it is. isn't it it's actually considering how many events have been cancelled or abandoned it is literally the definition of perfect going i would say wouldn't you <sighs> typical absolutely typical on the time that we can't although banks would rather it was a bit boggier i expect wouldn't they he'd run a bit more mud 
He didn't want to be one of the last to go round, so his takeoff and landings are nice and churned up. So we're at the start box, it's just there behind us, and then you've got a little sign here telling you how you can download the Cross Country app with all your minute markers. So that's really good that they've put that there, isn't it? Because I bet a lot of people aren't aware of it yet, and they can literally scan the QR code, see all the fences, and that's really, really good as well, isn't it? For literally just before you're about to ride and get on for your visualisation to go back through. Do you want me, shall I do it? So how easy it is. Oh look, did it from that far away? I thought I'd have to get closer. No. Look. Oh, wait a minute, not face idea, we don't run there. Ta-da! But obviously I've already got it, so. Yay, I'm not gonna track it. Not today. <laughs> don't need to, it's already on there. If you wanna go and view it, go check it out. <laughs> Sam, are you gonna give me your, your opinion of the course? What do you think of fence one? What do you reckon? He says, oh, I think, oh, I don't know. I go around that one. Hey, clear for Nala. 20 penalties for Sam. <laughs> Very interesting start already, to be fair, and this is something that you can't see within the app, is it? Because you don't know, you see the fences, but you don't see the in-between parts, so. Where we're saying about look back where you've come from, fence one is the other side of that tree, and then you've got to go all the way up here to get a bit of an S line to fence two. Whereas my initial thoughts when I landed after one, or walked past one, was to go straight on, but you've got to come up the hill that's Get your line two. and then go to fence two, which, as Em said, is actually pretty beefy for fence two. Like it's a championship it's course. I know. Yeah, that yeah. is wide. Isn't it? That is I'll wide. be honest, whenever I've looked at the course each year, this is one of the jumps that I always feel a little bit nervous of, and I don't know why, because it's purely a wall. But I just think with a wall, it's not remotely forgiving, is it? It's got blunt edges. If they do catch it, I guess and it will make them it will make them careful going around further onwards, I guess, but right there, isn't it? but again, and look at the ground. Look at the ground. So you've come from back there. Obviously you need impulsion for the jump, but the ground Do you know that's better? Well, um, you better for possibly off. getting down there getting earlier. Down there, and then you've got a lovely straight line. Exactly. Look, well it's making the riders make decisions, isn't it? Like we say about planning. Because that if you have a bit of a wobble or a aren't balanced. I would want to be coming down there. Coming down there earlier. Yep. Oh, lots to think about. Lovely stride there. Yeah, exactly. Um, Is that a let up fence or fence for him? There's fence right there. Yeah, I think that might... Well, yeah, it will be. No, that won't be moved. Yeah, straight after fence, move for 90. Oh, uh, OK, so it's right for the hundreds at the moment. Yeah, 100 goes down to that whopping great chicken. Oh, it now. does, doesn't it? And then the 90s will go straight on yeah. here. Fence six, my initial thoughts were, oh, that's fine as well, that's a let up fence. But actually, I think if I was to be riding that now, that's where you need to be riding that in your show jumping canter to check your adjustability for the next fence, don't you? You don't want to be going flat out over that. <laughs> you want to be practicing that you're in your county rhythm stride. Oh, Sam's got another 20 penalties. You'd be eliminated by now, Sam, Sam. <laughs> but this is also, so this is setting you up for like you said about your canter but then you've got to be aware not to lose all your canter and keep it, it yeah. yeah and your time think how long yeah. it takes from that to get to the end of that before you're able to gallop on again so when you're doing your minute markers you need to be thinking about your time as well. yeah being ahead of them because this is where it comes into play because a hundred percent most 90s we're all right for time and most 90s it would be a four four and a half minute course whereas i think this is about six and a half minutes exactly and then we go down and we go Spritey did this, didn't she? Oh, Sam's like, no, that's really big, Auntie Amy. One, oh, oh, okay. I don't know how many penalties you get for going in the ditch, Sam. I think generally that will be elimination. No, <laughs> you can go in it. You can go in it. Here. And out over element C. She didn't. That's where I finished. Oh. That's what I mean, I think. Well, that I was... feel, why do I feel like you had a photo up there further on that Sophie Callahan took? Was that further back then? That was, was fence two. Oh. And that's why I think if I ever was to get here, I would have my mind You'd I'd need have to a bit work of... on that. Yeah. Visualisation. Yeah, and not because I've got a problem with coffins, just in my head. Just of like where it is on the course, yeah, exactly. Put me through your thoughts on A, a and B then, eh? I like the fences. Yeah. I think the fences are nice. It's I know. Exciting. I um, thought they'd be a bit more glary than they are actually, and even in this direct sunlight they're fine, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are. But you just gotta treat it treat it almost like a drop fence, I would, because you're landing and you're straight away the horse is gonna go forward because it's downhill. Yeah. And then you just gotta make sure that you, your shoulders are in correct. Yeah. But, Otherwise, you've got And to you're go. looking the way you need to go, yeah. You've got ample space, though. Yeah, you have got ample. I like that word. Ample. Ample space. And like you say, actually, that's quite a diddy jump. 
compared to some of the compared others. Compared to the so yeah, far, not yeah, that that's you should underestimate it. No, exactly. But like you say, you need to be slipping your reins a bit over that, don't you? I just think it's all to do with um, balance. As long as yeah. you are in balance, you are looking clearly there. The horse is going to see that as well yeah. and know that they're going. And even if they do have a tiny little bit of a stumble or out of balance a little bit on landing, it's not the end of the world. If you have a trot stride, go again. There is room. It's a lovely car. Whereas the 100 is a little bit more challenging yeah. on that line, isn't it? Well, the, the ditch element of this is purely a rider scarer because yes. the horse doesn't see that. The horse sees... Take-off point, top, go. All right, onwards. And again, ground feeling absolutely super. Yeah, it's going to be lovely going. Yeah, I didn't that think we'd be able to wear trainers. I thought we'd be in welly boots. I did. Um, this would be quite... I think people would be quite quick on this ground. Yeah, 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 definitely. It's that springy side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're not going to cut into it too much, are they? Stay. They're ready to leap. Go! <laughs> <laughs> fence 10, easily doable yeah. by Spaniels. And again, quite a nice fence, isn't it? I'd say fence 10 is nice, but again, you just need to be conscious of slipping your reins on landing because it's quite a descent. That's nice, that's but it's bigger than, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's so undulating, that's what makes it so technical. Look back at where you come from, there's not much room to then, what's it going to be, five? <laughs> it's like the one at Frickley. <laughs> yeah. Do a curtsy. How many strides is it, Em? Right, don't exaggerate too much. Four or five strides, depending on how wide you go. Yeah, exactly, on how tight you take the turn I'd or how forward you're riding it. I just walked, I would have to walk back again because I was actually missing my tape off, so. Uh, okay. That was five strides, but I would just need to go a little bit further out. Keep to the left of it. Yeah. So from 11 around to 12, nice fence, and I'm assuming that's got frangible pins. Fence 13, a hay cart. We love a hay cart. We have hay carts at Launceston, hay carts at Pontespool. I would class a hay cart as a let up fence, but am I being complacent by saying that? What did I last have a stop at? Because oh no! <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not even know that. Where was that? Lower Tokenbury. Oh. I like, saw a hay cart. I was like, we've done loads of hay carts. Oh. She'll be fine. Okay. Well, that's educational then. Yeah. Never be complacent at a hay cart. Don't listen to Tina. Listen to Em. <laughs> <laughs> I did not even know that. Had you already told me? Sorry if you had. I, I didn't didn't actually know if I've shown you the videos no, of it. I, I definitely you made the vlog of it yet. So. <laughs> Em's about four behind. Oh, I would be behind. <laughs> She's off having fun. She's getting married soon. She's got a busy bee. Oh, have you heard Em's getting married? I mean, I don't, don't. know. <laughs> people that say that to me they're like what's happening at the end of may <laughs> i wonder it is this month now it is this you're month. gonna be a wife by the end of this month 23 days sam sam <laughs> come back puppy good boy oh and just think even if neither of us are riding here next year we'll have three doggies with us <laughs> It's 14. I was going to say Let's 14 take... A and B, but I've just realised it's not. It's 14 and 15, Ooh. which means you can ride these as indiv individual elements. <laughs> which means you can ride these as individual elements. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> so this is always here, isn't it? Do I believe? No. Or when it runs this way, it oh. definitely was here when I've walked it before. That with this question being here, right? Because you've got the option. Oh yeah. Jump fence 14 straight on as a nice oxer, technically cross country version of an oxer. So you come round, you jump 14, you turn left, you do a loop, and then you jump 15 on a nice loop. Or if you're feeling bold, if everything's been going well so far, you take on your corner, you pretend that this part of the jump isn't there, you slice it, you pick your point in the distance that you're looking towards. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Am I there with this? Am I yeah. doing this right? Am I just pretending? Right. All the gear, no idea. Um, and you jump it. And then, obviously, you're saving precious strides, precious seconds, and you do a nice land curving line to 15. Which, yeah, if your horse has been jumping well, you'd have no query. How would you ride that? I think what I've just said is this. Yeah. You would do it? Yeah. yeah. Like I say, if they've been jumping well, and mm -hmm. they've been pulling you into the fences, and you're getting your line straight. And yeah. If you've been a bit wiggly wobbly, higgledy piggledy, and had a few sticky chippings or anything like that. Give and also, as well, if you get to this point, you're at 14 15, if you're already behind on your minute markers, you know you're going to get time penalties anyway, maybe. Yeah. You just take it safe and go for a nice clear. Yeah. But 
Yeah. Oh, you're Actually, really just... up on your minute markers, and you... exactly. If you're really up and you've got time to kill, yeah. play it safe and not take the corner. But equally, yeah. actually, I don't know. Like I say, this is here every year, or not every year. I've seen it here before as this combination, yeah. and I thought I'd seen it narrower than that. But yeah. is it because you're not riding it that it looks a bit easier yeah. potentially? And the shade as well is going to play a massive part in this yeah. one too. Yeah. They've positioned well, that very well under that, the tree, there, haven't they? Yeah. They land from that, they don't automatically know that's their fence. There's... See, this is what I find that you know it's like championship course because they've actually got elements like that that are... aren't even jumps. No. But they're put there to try, yeah, to make sure that you have to ride the line. Have they been in the five star? I don't know. Giving you options, isn't it? It's yeah. making you have to make a decision uh, yeah. rather than you can only do this. See, this is a new exciting complex that's not normally here. Isn't it? Is this the first time that the grass route and the five star are joining a uh, joined a fence? Potentially. I don't know. I don't know if Emma's facts are correct, but it sounds intriguing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with that. I mean it looks the same. Yeah. So this is well, the no, jewels fence. Definitely jumping. Yeah, exactly. What I mean is I've never known them. Yes, they may have crossed paths like out and about. Yeah, but, but never, shared actual never. elements of the same fence. Like I'm well, Meg is going to be jumping a piece of wood that is joined to what? I was going to say London 52, but he's not here. No, London, he? not London 52. <laughs> Name another horse that might be competing here, Em. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's even near Camille and she's Oh, no, yeah. she's not either. Is Piggy riding even? No. Oh. No. So, De Capo, is that Laura's other Capo, horse? Yeah. De Capo, I think. So, he'll be jumping it. He'll be jumping it. <laughs> and I think Pippa's got um, Myers Hope, potentially. Yeah. She's got two. Oh, well, there we go. I'm not sure what the other one's probably. I know the riders more than yeah, the Yeah, exactly. Names. The horses know. You just know their stable names. Yeah. <laughs> You're on stable name term. This is going to bounce you off, basically, to go... See your way out there. And I grin, know. because you're heading towards the house, the prestigious yeah. house, and the lake where all of the crowds gather. On to 17, you're heading to the infamous lake that Nala's just been in. <laughs> you don't miss a trick, do you? She's like, it's lush. So yeah, lovely. Fence 17 is nice. Oh, it's sponsored by Cross Country app. Indeedies. Download it, guys. And then, hang a right. Oh, the dogs are already in the lake. Bless them. My dog did not swim for nine <laughs> years of his life. And over the last 12 months, he's turned into a proper water baby. <laughs> Sam. Sam. Oh, it's making me need to wee even more. Sam, Sam. Talk through the beat. Oh, you've barely got any battery. Um, I, I've been watching the dogs, I haven't actually paid attention to where we've got to go, so that one, and then you come into the water, you want to be probably aiming for one of those posts, I'd say the post that is there, and then that will curve you round nicely to the B element exiting the water, you've got a nice little dry patch before actually jumping your jump, I'm loving the little, I don't actually know what that is, is that a duck? I don't know, what animal is that? Oh look, and you're right next to 23 for the main oh course. My goodness. <gasps> How big is that? <laughs> Whoa, that's human. That's huge. Sam just just keep swimming. Sammy, just oh, keep swimming. Oh, just keep oh. swimming. He's literally obsessed with water. <laughs> Ever since he discovered his locker at 12 months ago. And then B is the same for both now. the 90 and the 100. That's quite um up, up, upright. But you get lovely shot. Oh, and we got C. I've just seen that. I'm looking at the house. C. Yeah. It's a B, Ooh. and then you've got to go C to walk the house. a bit of a gradient too. Yeah. And you have got an alternative over there of a roll top, but of course that is going to incur taking up quite a bit of time. Fence 19. So there are more than 19. Who was the designer M. of this, Tina? A Voltaire Designs. No. What do you mean? Who was the designer? Oh, somebody won it in a competition. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That will jump beautifully, as Emily said, prior to the camera turning on. Lovely, but again, can't be complacent just because you're only three from home. <laughs> big smiles, big pats, carry on, because I think the next one is a technical combination, but first stop is a wee for me. Fun fact we've just worked out, the majority of the jumps are turning right. Not till after the water that you turn left on a combination. I think. Roughly. Just trying to... Yeah, no, I think you're pretty much right. Um, and that, well, that, <laughs> that, right. <laughs> right. That'll be due to it running in clockwise, because yeah. clockwise would be like round to the right. Yeah. Anyway, technical combination, right at the end, penultimate I believe this is. 21A looks quite nice if it was a standalone jump. Right. But you've got to ensure that your horse and rider is concentrating because 100. the 100 element's going to give you a clue as to what the 90 element is. 
Oh, and it's not even on a straight line either. Yeah. So you've almost got to override the, the corner and go back on it rather than, yeah, you can't cut the corner to that because that would be encouraging a run out to the right. Dressed it nicely. But they have dressed it nicely. And yeah, no, I think it is wide and it's got a, a skinny takeoff point, but they have dressed it nicely. And if you've got to this point, you're getting over that, I would say. Bold, yeah. Is that too bold a statement? It's quite a bold statement. Okay. No. I'd like to think. No, because... No. no, no, no. Okay, well, obviously we'll be looking at the stats after the cross country, but we have both just decided that we do think they have made it slightly more challenging than last year. Agreed. Utilise the ground even more than the they undulations. Have done in pre previous years. Yeah, definitely. Definito. I mean, and bearing in I'm mind, I'm jumping eighties at the moment, so these all look massive. <laughs> bearing in mind as well, though, like we said, that quite a few people might have only had one run, if that. So, yeah. yes, it's definitely not going to be a dressage competition. Go on, Nala. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, even on the lead. Woohoo! She's clear. Yay! Well done, Nala. Okay. I mean, it's already recording. So oh, good. <laughs> good intro. Yay. That's a way to embarrass be, me. Be safe, kids. Yeah. Sun cream's important. What factor? 50? 30 is all I had. But, you know, this hi. nose started scaling. Can you say so. hi to the so, dog? Hello, everyone. We've already explained. That was a camera voice. Camera voice from Camerom. We've already explained. It's not the badminton we thought it was going to be, but equally, we're here. We're having fun. Do you know what? I'm really proud of you being here. Thank you. Really proud of you being here, Tina. Um, coming up to support Meg, see everything. Um, yeah, I think you're doing great. Um, would you be able to do it, Pam? Pardon? Would you be able to do it? Em well, said, would you be able to do it? No, to come up like you oh. Um, do you know what? I've done it in the past. As well, I we, just, we were earlier. just talking about when he came to Bicton yeah, two I years ago. Yeah, when I came to two years ago. Not and long I'd lost after. a horse and, mm. yeah. and everything. And I came along for three hours and went home again. Yeah. Um, hard. Really hard. I actually, a couple of hours ago, yeah. if I was closer to home, I'd have gone home. Yeah. It's one of those things, you know, I know we've discussed loads of times. Badminton is a great thing for you to do, but it's never been top of your priority. Very true. You get a real big kick out of jumping in 100 more so than jumping yeah. a 93, yeah. uh, 90 here at badminton. But still coming to something you were qualified for but is... Something as well with T is that she doesn't like plans changing. Yes. She made the plan that she was coming. <laughs> she knows me far too well. <laughs> exactly. I told myself all winter we're doing it. Yes. yes. Did, but yeah. everything happens for a reason. When Portman yeah. dropped off, then Oxtals dropped off and everything, it was like... Aah! I think we've got to give a lot of credit to this lovely person that's been working with you. Katie. Katie, yeah. yes. Because I think you a year ago would have, would have probably not come. Right, or right, or right. not being able to at all, and actually the or fact, or not being able to control my emotions. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> I didn't yes. have to hide behind sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, a hundred percent that. With a glass of pinot. No, very but, very uh, true. Yes. No, I, think... I really wanted to come and support Meg and not change the plans completely because I actually don't know how I'd have felt still yeah. being at home right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd been like, mm, yeah. <laughs> and come and look at the hundred for next year. <laughs> Always pushing, isn't he? Always and pushing. coming to look for the 90 with your new horse in three years. Exactly that. Exactly <laughs> that. That's what I was just about to have a conversation with you about, yes. actually, but that one needs to happen off camera. Yep. We'll yep. rendezvous again because we're going to go back, make a little bit of lunch, and then we'll rendezvous again for your course. Walk. Yeah, I'm looking forward to well, that at four o'clock. I think a few Insta, Insta family will turn up. Who knows? a fair few messages saying... It could be two people, it could be 20 Is it just for competitors? I was like, no, it's not <laughs> just for competitors. Cam has opened it up to the public to come on the course. Well, walk, not so. me, the lovely Voltaire have. They so. are, that's very kind of them. So hopefully, yeah, we'll see a fair few of you there at four o'clock. But Perfect. for now, food, food. We need food. Yeah, and coffee. And coffee. Hey, Em. <laughs> Sorry. Wow, wee, look at that! You, want a, you only want a fork. Or I only want a fork and some ketchup, please, and I'll be a very happy girly. I need to find some fork. Brunch is served. It's in work mode. Good, Georgie. So, again, just quick to notice if the walk goes a little bit quiet. Good, and then say thank you. Good. Good, much better in the outline, but keep the impulsion. Don't draw the hand back to get her lower. It's a sideways bend. And then an offering of the leg, uh, of the hand. Good. Oh, spoil, isn't Good. it? Good, right, whenever you're ready, yeah, up into nice the mark. Oh yeah, my breakfast. Make the transition nice and sharp. Yeah, good correction, well done. Set this transition up to set the rest of the session. Good, well done, nice. So Cam is warming up around. one of his regular pupils, but they're doing a different type of warm up to what they normally do. Her test is until, is it later or tomorrow? This isn't, 
yeah, basically she's not in competition attire because they're doing a warm-up now, then another shorter warm-up later, and yeah, just trying it that way. So as you can hear, he's got his, or see, he's got his head cams on because it is quite windy here today. Head cams, ear cam, what is it? <laughs> Microphone, yeah. Camera bellowing across the warm-up arena. Just make sure. Wave my arm and around. He's off. Welcome to Cameron Beer's Course Walk. Oh, hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. If we're we come down to the start box and then we'll as get much going. As we can shout. Oh. We're going to tell him he doesn't need to holler too much. Um, he was a little bit conscious that it might only be 10 people turn up. God, there's loads of you. <laughs> I'll try and use my loudest voice, but please do let me know if you can't hear me. And I want this course walk to be interactive. If you've got any questions, please ask. I'm sure if you've got the question, someone else has definitely got the question. Um, hands up, who is actually competing here tomorrow? Fab. Anyone in the 100? Yeah, perfect. The 90? Fab. And hands up if it's your first course walk. Okay, a couple. Yep, yep. The ones that have walked it before, have you walked it once, twice, three times? Once so far. Yeah, perfect, because you've got a bit of a feel of it. Um, fab, okie dokie. Right, so we'll start here. So, start box area, really important. Obviously, you might have a slightly more fresh horse than you've got on your normal one day. Those that have done dressage today, stabling away, you, you sort of don't quite know what horse you're going to have. So, I don't know how you all set your stopwatch yourselves. Personally, I like to set it on 15 seconds. Um, so, I don't know if that's something you're all doing normally, but I like to be able to press it on 15 seconds. I asked the starter if I can have 20 and then 15, so on 20 I go, oh goodness, right, I'm getting ready to press my stopwatch. 15, press it, and then it means I can chill about that when they start to count me down, okay? So if that's not something you already do, maybe go back and practice on your stopwatch if that feels like something you might do. It just means that then that last 10 seconds you can just breathe and not faff about, oh my goodness, I've got to press it on go, okay? So that's the first thing I want you to think about here. Um, if you're thinking your horse might get a little bit nervous, make sure you've got a helper down here, maybe with some treats. I always have treats in the start box to try and make this a relaxed area. Make sure you've got someone on hand. Um, good, so we're gonna come in and then we're gonna walk on to number one. A really important fence to actually not come out of the start box and go straight into a gallop and jump. I just wanna have a nice, confident jump over number one and then I can get into a good gallop. A little bit off it, a little bit close to it, just make sure your body is nice and tall. But as I said, for me, the most important thing is you have a confident jump over number one. You don't want to come out of the start box thinking, God, I'm at badminton, I need to gallop and go, and then have a bit of a scrappy jump, okay? Come out, just have a nice sort of positive show jumping gear, jump over number one, then we're at badminton, okay? Have a confident jump over number one. Don't be scrappy over this and then have to put the confidence back together, okay? Contain your excitement. How will they see this one with white on top? I think they'll see it really well. White jumps very well for horses, I always think. It gets them nice up in the air. I think they've been kind by painting it white. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I always think a white jump, they jump higher but better. <laughs> to me, it's important that you actually pick a turning place and square off to this fence. Yeah, don't come on up round and float over it and you've never actually given your horse a straight stride. Remembering the first few fences are about building the confidence, not taking risks, okay? So you popped fence one nicely, open the inside rein for the 90, the 100 have gone straight. You can get into a good positive gear then, but then think, okay, with my horse, how many straight strides do I need? You obviously all know your horse is a lot better than I do. So you're gonna think, okay, for me, for the 90, here's my turning place and then the turn does a brilliant thing because it sits the horse up enough, okay? That's where they've been very kind, I feel, giving you a turn because it sits the horse back. If one, two, and three are all in a straight line, it encourages you just to be a little bit flat. So treat this to your advantage. Do come up here and put in a turn, yep. That will do enough on itself to sit the horse up and then you can be nice and positive and keep the body tall. White on the fence, horses see white very well, so they might throw a really good jump, yeah, so make sure you're nice and tall for that. But I think the main thing here, it's, it's square, it's, it's a little bit more upright, so you have to put in a turn. Uh, Cameron's asked everybody that's riding it to walk on and sh stop where he thinks they should, or where they think they should put in a gear change because there's quite a bit of undulating ground prior to fence three. Yep. Cam, yep. I've heard a few whispers about whether it's an upward or a downward gear change. So okay, that's maybe... okay, yeah, very good, very good. So who thinks it's an upwards gear change? Downwards gear change? 
Yeah, so for me, it's about putting the horse together, okay? For those that haven't walked the course yet, I'm being a bit mean, you don't know what's coming up, yeah? But for those that have, for me, fence three and fence four here are two of the most important fences on the whole course, okay? They're gonna set up the rest of the course for you because you've got the downhill with the slight undulation change here. So for me, it's sort of in line with that tree okay that's be where that would be where i would just be putting my horse down a gear still keeping activity to give them time when they get to the undulating ground here to feel their way okay you don't want to have your horse running down on the forehand to the undulation coming and running then to the base of the wall so here i'm just making sure i sit my horse up keeping the power and then I could come on again I haven't got to stay in that tiny gear but just giving my horse okay there's something coming really good question could you go down the mound and then get straight to the wall you could but for me that then runs the risk of losing a little bit more balance in my opinion if I do a good enough gear change and stay tall I just want to allow my horse to find their way through this undulation okay so this is my line here yeah personally so i'm holding my horse on a straight line the less turning i can do on a course the less energy i take out of the horse the more i can ride everything on a straight line the more confident my horse feels that i'm showing at the fence early enough if that makes sense i never want to feel like i'm sort of slightly surprising my horse so here i'm riding a straight line my horse can really visibly see what's coming up, but I put in a correct gear change to just give them time. They're just gonna feel their way, yeah. It's the wall has no width to it, yeah. Really, it's just an upright. It's like riding a gate, yeah. So because of that, your horse could be close to it or off of it, either will work, as long as your body is nice and tall when you get to the base of it and your hands are nice and soft. Because it's got the brush on top of it, again, it doesn't really matter if you're close or long. The most important thing is about really creating some canter up the mound, okay? Because you'll get to the base here, you pop the, the wall, press, okay? You've almost got to think towards gallop, towards medium canter, because the mound will take that away anyway. And then again, they've been clever, slight downhill incline, so stay nice and tall, okay? So here we've been thinking, there is a strong relation between these two fences. Down a gear, down the undulation, pop them out at the wall nice and tall. Get over the road, generate the canter, generate the canter. Up here, stay nice and tall, let them jump it, okay? Can you just repeat what you just said to me, Cameron? Because it was very good advice. Well, I just think I was, you asked whether it was a good course or not, and I think it's a brilliant course because I don't think there's anything out here that's overly testing on the horses. I think it's all about the riders. I think the riders have got to really think. I think there's lots of places where the riders could make silly little mistakes. But for the horses, it's all obvious as long as the yeah. rider rides well. So, yeah, really yeah. good course. Yeah. So what did he just say? Because he missed it because of that. He actually said it's a really nice fence, Em. <laughs> I'm gonna look a bit like I said earlier. I, I said I did agree with you, just don't be complacent. Yeah, so yeah. He, so we I said just thought you wouldn't be able to hear me. <laughs> so I just don't be complacent. Are you sure we were I don't know. <laughs> I've got a question that I think I know the answer to, yeah, but I've said to him, well, he said to me earlier about this one, so I'm going to say to him, does he think it's the biggest question on the course? Okay. What do we reckon the answer will be? No, he didn't. No, he hasn't said that. He just oh. asked me, out of all the jumps earlier, he asked me how I would ride this. Uh. And I thought there must be a reason for that. Yeah, I think the one that's by this jump, okay? Because obviously if that wasn't there, we'd all be doing it like this. And that would be a lovely line. But really, the closest I can get really is here. Does that make sense? Yeah. So on this line, yeah. I'm here. I'm at the window but I, I know I'm aiming just to the left of that jump that we're not jumping afterwards. In training, <laughs> you've done your practice, you've done your training, and this is where you put it into play, okay? If you're feeling confident, feeling great, you're coming on this line, whip in left hand, you found your line, you stay nice and tall, you stay behind because a little pony might bank this, and that's fine. Just said that's that earlier too, didn't I? Too. That's okay, you stay nice and behind. I'm not even worrying about 15. 15's easy, mm. 15's lovely. So Cam, would you say this is one of the biggest questions on the course? I would definitely say it's one of the most technical questions on the course. Not the biggest, it's a nice height. Yeah, not biggest, technical. In height, but definitely one of the most technical fences on course. I think it just requires a lot of accuracy 
um, and trust in, in horse and rider. That's what it's checking in with, the trust that this is what we're jumping, is the, is the horse trusting you? Yeah. If you've had a few wobbles, then go long. This is the one question that I would be thinking. If I've had a tricky round, even if I've gone clear, I might take the long route. And is it is it imperative that you shout not presenting or circle? Definitely. Really important to make sure if you're not going direct, you say circling, really nice and loud. As I said, if you land over this and you're not sure, you are circling. Yeah. But let's walk the direct route anyway. So I'm hugging this tree. And then again, my eyes are on it, but I'm not turning. I'm not turning. Yeah, because you can decide two strides out that you're not, can't you? Unfortunately, it was literally just after that jump that I realised that the mic had been lost. So we had to walk the whole course backwards, but thankfully we found them at fence five. Behind the scenes of day two, what were we saying? How many paparazzi can one person have? Yeah. Woo! Lots of cameras, all eyes on Meg. And it's Jan Bam's turn. Dress up. And it's a lot busier atmosphere here today, isn't it? Don't know how well you're going to be able to hear me, that wind is strong. Yeah, she's looking fab. She's looking relaxed, isn't she? Meg and Jam are looking relaxed. She's smiling. Yeah, Em's been top studder this morning, haven't you? On it. She was proper chilled there? She was, yeah, that's what I said. She was really... She's looking lovely. I said she looks like she's lengthened her neck a bit. Yeah. Fingers crossed for them. I will um, obviously catch her a little bit, but... Oh, the riding footage will be on Meggie's channel. From every single angle of the arena. Yeah, from <laughs> 10 million photographers and videographers. <laughs> oh, you're cute. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't lost my dog. He's a little bit tired and stiff this morning, bless him, so he's staying in the van for dressage. And Nala's out to exert some more energy, isn't she? <laughs> she says, I don't do tired and stiff, I'm only two. <laughs> she isn't pulling quite as much today. Oh, so. maybe she's a little bit tired. Are you okay, Nala? As we said, quite a lot more crowd than yesterday. <laughs> So a pretty accurate, despite a bit of a spooky slip, um, test for Meggie and Jam. I don't actually know the score yet, because it's all go, all quick turnaround, because we've entered to the stables. M's switching the studs out from Jam to D, because D will be show jumping soon. I believe Dee Dee's in this one. Who you speak of the devil, there she is. Hi, sweetheart. Hello, my favorite gray pony. And then, um, we'll be putting your studs or jam studs back into you now. You got itch? Want to rub on me? Hey, yeah. good girl. Good girl. Oh, she to pick that poo up. Please shine for your mummy today. Yeah, you like cuddles with me, don't you? I'm not gonna lie, I've stayed away from the stables until this moment because it's made me feel a little bit sad to think that Dee Dee and Banksy should have been neighbours, really, shouldn't you? Should have been neighbours. Yeah. So yeah, I have avoided the stables a little bit, but I thought I would just come up because I thought Em was swapping studs over. But actually, Han's already taken them out of jam and they don't need to go into D yet for another 10 minutes or so. So 10 minutes chill time and then it will be all go because the jumping is going to run in very quick succession. I think there's like an hour between the show jumpings, but then only just over half an hour between jams, show jumping and D's cross country. That's going to be pretty go, 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 go. And I don't envy Meg. She's going to require a lot of energy. I did just see her sipping on a wife food. I think she's feeling quite nervous. Obviously, that goes without saying. Um, but I'm hoping that going out on DD first will give her all the confidence she needs to have a good rounds jumping. And then she can absolutely boss it on jam too afterwards when she's had a good and successful run on D. As you can see behind me here, Maggie is mounting DD, which means we need to leave because we've all been given a specific jump on the course to capture. So we need to head out there. Yeah, we do. Because she had show jumping, then cross country on D, then D will be done. D is currently on clear, which is pretty epic. Oh, my goodness. No. Yeah. And then show jumping on jam, followed by cross country on jam. So that's quite nice. Good luck, Meg. Enjoy it. So Meg's very lucky that she's got Katie on hand. 
to help her. You've been giving her some words of wisdom this morning to keep her calm, haven't you? Trying to, anyway. Trying to. Well, it worked for the shoe jumping. Yeah, yeah. Didn't it? That's lovely, nice Oh, and she's fueling you as a thank you. <laughs> Brilliant. It is all go, go, go today. I said I got confused because I thought she had both show jumpings and both for countries. No, it's quite no. nice to yeah. complete one first, I think. Yeah, I think that's going to give her a big boost of confidence. Yeah. She's got so much adrenaline at the moment. She yeah. needs to go use it. Like, she needs to take all that course. And Dee Dee is the more feisty one in, like, yeah. tense one, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. I think she is. She knows Dee inside out, doesn't she? Whereas... Yeah. Going into battle jam. And as keen as Dee is, she's that little bit more polite. Jam can be a bit stronger. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, that's good. Wow, she did a corking clear round. No, she will enjoy it. She's got to enjoy it. She's always wanted to get Dee here. Dee's here, yeah. so... Yeah. Yeah, which is incredible. What an opportunity to have her here to help. She did a good job in the show jump in. And we're positive vibes that they're going to absolutely smash the cross country. So we just need to get to our allotted fences because <laughs> we're under strict instruction as to which jumps to get the footage of. Last a few of the five star horses. Having a little bit of pre event exercise. Obviously, some of them will have their dressage tomorrow, and some on Saturday. Sam Sam! We're both panting, but we made it. You can't run off. Don't take advantage of a loose lead. No. So we are going to get fence 10, fence 11, A and B, and then fence 12. or not. Em's not to be trusted with new equipment. I had to leave she had a five second. Oh, I just... Oh, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> Run to the finish. Get another. You better get jam then. You have to get jam. I will get jam. I got her over nine. Oh, well done. Once you realise your mistake. Yeah. I haven't looked you at mine. Mine might be awful. You have because I'm literally going, oh no, he's got the finish. Oh, the joys of using cameras. Oh, another spaniel alert. Spaniels everywhere. We haven't sprinted to the finish, it's too far. <laughs> but we have just heard on that very loud tannoy, thankfully, that she's clear inside the time. Six seconds inside. Yeah, well done, Dee Dee. Woo -woo. She must have left, let the handbrake off on the galloping yes. stretches. Yeah. I wonder what option she took at 14. I reckon she'd gone direct. I reckon she's gone direct. Proud of you, Meggie. Oh, a bit goosebumpy. A bit goosebumpy. And mm. she's always, her dream's always been to get Dee Dee here. Exactly. So to then finish on a cracking dressage, double clear. 30.4, double clear, no time penalties, epic result. Yeah. I knew Dee Dee would do it. She's ace. She's going to be stood in front of the house today. I think Dee Dee might be stood in front of the house today. I, I also think Dee Dee might be Jam Jam. <laughs> well, she has. She can't climb on Jam higher than Dee now, can she? Oh, no. <gasps> no very oh she could be taking two ponies that. in front of the house. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> I might have just spied a beautiful patchy pony. <laughs> is that the one you thought was Banks earlier? Yeah. <laughs> when it was yeah. doing its dressage? Yeah. Aww. I've really had to check myself. Though, Similar sort like, of oh, size. I was like, no, she's not mine. <laughs> I don't look like him. <laughs> no. I was very far too far, wasn't you? Ponies might look the same. I don't think the humans do, thanks, Katie. <laughs> I was on the other side of the field. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> distance. Yeah, it must have just been the distance. Must have similar postures. <laughs> Cameron, don't you miss Meg's show jumping there? You'll be in trouble. Oh, God. Yeah, so well, I'm so sorry. sorry. <laughs> I said, no, don't, don't you miss Meg's okay. show jumping? Oh, yeah, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Lovely to meet you all. <laughs> Cam just nearly gave them a break. Oh, New ponies. New ponies. Yes. three that I've already bought. Yes. I'm going to pass you this. Do you want to vlog? Pardon? Do you want to vlog? No, no, no. You're doing it. Yeah, because I can take... Oh, you can use the camera and take proper photos. Okay, what am I going to video Meg? Film Meg, yeah, why not? 
I want to watch. Oh, you don't okay. get to see it when you're vlogging, do you? Well, it'll be on our channel anyway, <laughs> on it, so. She's got plenty of people filming and videoing, so is she next in? Nice looking course though, isn't it, Cam? Really nice people, um, it's very much on the rider because a lot of turns as opposed to related, you know, if there are lots uh, of related okay. in a course, really you can just get in and then just sit there, whereas there are so many turns where people can make mistakes by cutting in. Oh, uh, okay, and then you'd be on an off-stride. Exactly like, yeah. right. Okay, so fair. it's a smart course. Again, a bit like the cross country, where the riders got to make the decisions. It's rider hard, not horse hard. Um, so yeah, no, really, really testing happy. of their capabilities and competence. Exactly, and how how much training they've put in and how much they can hold their nerve. Um, yeah, which is what it should be. I put the training in, but not hold the nerve. <laughs> <laughs> we're working on that. Yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> Next to go, we have number three eight eight. It is uh, Megan Elphick. Here with Jamelia, 30.6 the dressage score, which actually currently is sitting in 11th place. which is the Tricky one that when we were talking, yeah. walking, to walking and talking the course yesterday, yeah. we decided it probably was one of the biggest questions. Most people will go long and actually it's been really interesting. There's a couple of lovely little conny ponies from Scotland who when we finished the course they went, do you think I can just go over this fence? Go, yeah, they found some clever little way that oh, no really? one else has done all day. And they've gone, yeah, so anyway, there are so many options. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, um, and that's what we were saying about the show jumping and the cross country. It's all things that are going to test the rider more totally, than the horse, isn't totally, it? Totally, totally. I mean, I haven't seen any awkward jumps from horses, but I've seen rider mistakes. Uh, okay. And that's what I feel. Woo, that one's having a good course. gallop on that towards <laughs> the house, look, isn't it? That is where you Enjoying said the course changes, ground. though, isn't it? Totally. It's the first half is so intense, and the second half, you have a bit more breathing space between the fences to catch up on a bit of confidence and a bit of time. Yeah, because I feel um, I need to apologise that the course all wasn't that well filmed yesterday because <laughs> we might have lost a mic. I got excited and I was just sticking <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, it wasn't uh, your fault, it was my fault for not noticing. But what I actually turned the camera on was for, as we're heading past the warm up yes. for the five star horses, I wanted your predictions on who you think might win, Cam. Well, I think it's going to be a close race between two. I mean, it could be someone else, but Ros Cantron, Lordship's Graffalo, second here last year, fourth at the World Games. You I know, didn't realise we're getting all the stats. Um, <laughs> really will be up there especially with obviously Laura not now here on London uh, probably might not be in the lead after the dressage but it's a double clear machine yeah um, Toledo de Cursa you know uh, I think we didn't all... have the best of luck here last year well I think he came in last year <laughs> as a strong favorite yeah and he just had an unlucky year so he still should be a strong favorite it's just he's gone down in statistics because of a couple of big mistakes yeah but he's okay. still an epic horse yeah. Epic course, and he's made for courses like this, so he definitely has Have to be Have you seen there. the five-star course yet? I've only seen it on the app so far. Okay. And just it's funny, actually, how different it looks once you do walk it. I noticed that with the grass roots yesterday. Totally. Like, the jumps look lovely on the app, yes. but then when you see where they're placed... It's the undulation. It totally. makes... Oh, and that's, totally. like... For badminton, that is what that's what is cross effective. country is. That's what cross yeah, but this is. course is one of the most undulating, oh, isn't it? Oh God, totally. No, it wouldn't be one of the most undulating. No, no, I wouldn't say that. For no. grassroots riders, uh, no. No, <laughs> where? No. Come on, tell me where else plenty, I don't need to go. Plenty more undulating no, but, places. No, but no, like, no, no Ponder School, lovely and flat. Launceston, no. lovely and flat. No, no, no. Where? There are plenty of places in Devon with far bigger hills than this. But what they've been smart with is how they've used the odd bit of the undulation. Yeah. So okay. they have funny little divots. Oh gosh, divots. yeah, not the hills, but it's, the divots. That's what okay, I mean. The yeah. testing divots in the front of the fence. Yes. That, oh, that's a posh word. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, totally. They, I would, you couldn't go as far to say Badman is the most undulating course. But no. Burley, for example, yeah. would be immensely more yeah, undulating. Yeah, but for us grassroots 90-hundred riders, they place the fences okay. in places in where other places. courses, because it's championship. Oh, totally I agree with that. So other okay, courses thanks. would have the undulations to use. But they wouldn't but put they the wouldn't jump right on. Yeah, 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 fair enough. That's where okay. I was going. Yeah, okay. fine. We'll go with that. Right. We're I just don't to... want to give you guys the wrong impression. No, or the, the um, wrong facts, the wrong you know. Facts. No, no, no. Badminton in general would be relatively flat compared to a lot of places in Devon, but yeah. how they have used the bits of undulation makes it a championship course. That's the correct. Correct. <laughs> that's the correct. I haven't even had a drink. And that's the coffee. correct way of saying correct. That's the correct <laughs> way of saying correct. Right. We're going to fence yeah. fourteen. Yeah. Let's see how influential that's been. I'm going to look on the app as well, actually, to see yeah. how influential. I think that's it has been. been very. But if it doesn't say it has been, that's probably because a lot of people have taken the long route. 
Yeah, fair. Fair. Well, we're going to get there with, I would like to think, three or four riders yes. ahead of Meg so we get to yeah. see how it's ridden before her and Jam Bam go through. Lovely. Woo! Em's just caught us up after film after filming. Did you get it this time? I did get it! <laughs> yes, I did. At the same fence. The same fence. Clear. Which Make fence clear. are you at? Fence eight. eight. The solar panels. Oh yes. Yep. Yep. I hit, I hit record. I hit record. I don't know if I showed that I had that in my pocket. I had this in my pocket from a lovely follower who very kindly gave it to me ringside at the show jumping. Tizzy.equine. Ah, oh, Tizzy.equine. Instagram. And she'd written a lovely note and I started to read the first line and I started well enough and I said to Cam, I can't read this right now, didn't I? I was like, I can't do it for a minute. So I just got it out, showed them. She's like, I'm going to read it to you. So be prepared are you for ready? tears. Tina, you are a true inspiration to me and your vlogs have helped me through a lot. Banksy is the most beautiful soul and I love watching your journey. I bet it's tough to show the hard parts of your journey, but it's so much better to see. You carry on and reminds me life will always throw curveballs, but still carry on. You are such an amazing pair with Banks and I can see you going so far. He will be in his prime for a while, so enjoy him. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. So cute. That's why I was like, oh, <laughs> thank you, Tizzy. Yeah. Oh, thank you. And isn't that picture cool? That's from when we qualified at Picton. Credit to M because she took the picture. <laughs> I was only joking. <laughs> no, it was credit to M. You took the picture. Yeah, I did take the picture. Oh, and well done, Dee Dee, because she's got a top ten at badminton. Yeah. As has Jam Bam. Wowzers. Pretty impressive. And yeah, as much as it has been hard coming and witnessing it all, I'm glad I did. Ah! Proud of you. We'll come one day, hey Cam, mm -hmm. to do the five star, yeah? Yeah, 100 you next year, horse. you on that, yeah, we'll and the then. We'll, yeah. be the, we'll be the geographer, you'll be the groom. You will not be the groom, you'll have too much wine by then. <laughs> you know me well, if the beer, as Pammy said. <laughs> so we're doing a quick whirlwind tour of some of the stands, checking out and seeing some of the brands that we work with before heading to the prize giving because Meg has got two in the top ten. I've just phoned Em because I can't find her and Cameron anywhere. And it turns out, I believe, they're in here. Getting led astray. And how much is one like that? <laughs> He's asked the most mighty question. Yeah. Oh my goodness, in we go. I've just seen that it's got a washing machine in it, look. <laughs> People must be able to stay away for a long, long time in something like this. Oh, wow, we. <gasps> How many horses can it take? Five. Oh, that's exactly what you wanted, Cam. Um, yeah. And now I'm trying to talk about 1,500 to 2,000. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's huge in there. That I never expected the bathroom to be this big. Wowzers. This must be part of the pop outside, mustn't it? Yeah. <laughs> How big is that bathroom? And that takes more and that's up and down. Yeah, because yeah. this almost feels more wow. living than a horse. And then yeah. this is more for your you person who doesn't there. have as many boots. That bit yeah. there also Once comes down and is actually at this yeah. height because the seats all fold yeah. down. Wow. And you get Jane and Booker with it. Bargain. So with the, yeah. one day Sorry, I'm just getting head around there. Yeah. yeah. It's incredible, yeah. wouldn't it? Imagine driving it. Yeah, I wouldn't like to drive it. I'd happily sit in one of these seats. Oh, I can't believe how God, big it is. It's gorgeous. Isn't Absolutely it, Jeff? It's beautiful. I've just been uh, discussing payments. <laughs> <laughs> Cam's going to buy a few more lottery tickets yeah. tonight. Yeah. They knew yeah. we were turning up. Woo! Yeah. Running a freshly cleaned, or polished, should I say, bridal down to the stables because somebody's got to go to prize giving. Absolutely. Epic result for Meg. DD fourth. Bam bam. Seventh. Incredible. Both finishing on their dressage score. Very, very proud of them. I know the prize giving's gonna be very emotional. And yeah, I also know this vlog's probably very long, despite it being disjointed. So we'll turn camera off now and we'll show you DD in front of the Babington house. Definitely extremely proud. Definitely glad I came. And yeah, definitely gives me drive and determination to fingers crossed get Banks up here next year. Delivering a shiny clean bridle. I hope your plaits are good, Emily. Perfect. Or has it been teamwork makes the dream work? Bands. 
Oh, when doesn't do bands, she only does shreds. Yeah. Dee Dee, you clever girly. Oh, I can't do the front one. Oh, and so a short neck and thin mane, so you don't require many anyway. No, nine. <laughs> Have a bridle. Nine. Oh, proud of you, you clever girl. Whoa! Oh, sky's the limit. <laughs> Those muscles, Em. <laughs> oh, Dee Dee. Oh, Dee Dee. I'm so what you proud of you. <laughs> I'm up, one, two, three, Look at that five, pretty face. Eight. Eight tucked in. No spinning when we're down there. <laughs> no thinking you're going in the start box. <laughs> so I did. And before it gets dark. And before it gets dark. Ah, oh, sadly we haven't stayed any longer than the two nights. We would have loved to stay and party and celebrate with Maggie tonight, wouldn't we? We would have. But they're all going pub. Yeah, they're all, well actually, yeah. We wouldn't have gone pub. We, we would have gone pig and whistle. whistle. That's like I was gonna say routine, it's not routine. Traditional. For badminton. Badminton tradition. Gotta go pig and whistle. Especially on the If you Thursday know you know. Night. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, really fabulous couple of days, wasn't it? Like I say, a little bit bittersweet, but equally really good to have gone. It would have been even worse being at home, I think. I think it would have been well, yeah. We had fun, the doggies had fun. We were a good support crew, weren't we, I think? Yeah. You were good stutterer, I did good photos and stuff. I mean, and you did good video too. Um, second time round. Eh, uh, I platted, I did studs. You did cleaned amazing. And I cleaned the platting quickly for, and you cleaned that. I cleaned her boots for the prize giving. Oh, okay. I know, go me, I was quite proud yeah. of myself. That was my input. No, Proud it's, of nice. Maggie. it's nice as a team effort. Oh, it is. It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, she did absolutely amazing. And definitely has a very incredible support crew around her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fabulous grey ponies. And a lot of determination. She's very inspiring, isn't she? She's obviously yeah. so passionate about it that she will do whatever it takes to make it become good. Yes. That's yeah. what I think. Yeah. But yeah, over and out, home to our ponies. Well, not for long. <laughs> No, a few days. A few days home and Before then... we'll be back up here again. Hopefully to some better weather. Oh, can't wait. Yeah, well, we'll, be, we'll be making this long trip. Oh, my voice is good. It's good job we didn't do more than two days of Badminton. <laughs> it was so nice to meet so many of you there, though, wasn't it? Yeah, coming up so and many photos. People. Yeah. And lots of people sharing about their ponies, which I really like. That's different to other years. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And seeing pictures of ponies. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Dee Dee. Well done, Dee Dee. <laughs> oh, well done Dee Dee and Jam and yay to Banksy being sound and we can crack on once we get Woo back from somewhere hot and sunny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Over and out. Thanks for watching. Sorry, I'm going to say sorry, but sorry not sorry if it's a bit disjointed, it's the way it flowed. I'm sure it's absolutely fine and you'll piece it together wonderfully. <laughs> no time before Tuesday. Right. <laughs> Over and out. See you soon. Like and comment, subscribe. Bye. Bye. Behind the scenes at Badminton Horse Trials. Okay. You're driving us down that. You won't get through that gap. Yes, I will. Okay. Hey. Hey. Now watch out for. It. Hold on to everything. Okay. Oh, I'm going to slide around here. Oh, it's a bus. My drum. Oh.